Do Spanish people speak with a lisp? Well, in this video, you will find out. Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, Kai's Adventures. I am Kai, and today I want to talk about something that I have received so many questions about. Do Spanish people have a lisp? Okay, so I'm sure you've heard the story that a long time ago there was a Spanish king and he had a lisp and he was so popular, everyone loved him that the Spanish people started to copy his form of speaking and because of this, everyone has a lisp. So when I originally came to Spain, I listened, you know, to Spanish people and I did notice that there was something that sounded like a lisp and when I speak Spanish, you notice, if you watch my Spanish video, you would notice that I speak with the so-called lisp. So to answer your question, is this lisp real? Do they have a lisp? No! Is the story about the Spanish king true? Absolutely not. It is a false. Okay. When I first told all my friends, when I told everyone about the story um, here in Spain, they were like, what? They had never even heard of such a thing. They were like, Americans invent stories like we do. Yes, they invent stories too. So why do they speak this way? Okay. So first of all, it's not called a lisp. It's called a ceceo. And it's only, you only hear it when you're in mainland Spain. So here in the Canary Islands, they don't speak like this. So I learned Spanish in the mainland, the peninsula. So when I speak, I speak with a ceceo. So what this is, is that when you are speaking any letter, sorry, letters C and Z, okay, make a th sound when they are before the letters I and E. Well, also when Z is before the letter A, okay? I hope that wasn't too confusing. But you will make a th sound. So, for example, um, words like cabeza, cerveza, calabacín, zapatos, um, what else? Una vez. Words like this, you'll hear that th sound, okay? So, Latin America and the Canary Islands, they speak with what is called a ceseo, where those same letters sound like an S, okay? So, instead of cabeza, it's cabeza, okay? Now, originally, I was thinking, okay, why even have the ceseo? but it actually helps distinguish between words because there are some words in Spanish where the spelling is almost the same except one letter might be a Z and the other letter might be an S. And if you speak with the ceseo like the Canary Islands or Latin America, these words sound exactly the same, but the meaning is completely different. But if you speak with the ceseo, you know exactly what the word is because of the, the difference in sound. So it's actually been helpful for me. Some people that try to learn Spanish think, oh, it's, you know, it adds more complexity, but it really doesn't. I haven't had any problems. But living here in the Canary Islands, it's funny because my friends here, they don't like the ceseo, so they always laugh at me when I speak it and they try and help me learn the ceseo, but I can't, it's, it's I don't know why. Um, but my friends in the peninsula, they don't like the way Spanish is spoken here. So it's like, you're not going to win. And for me, I'm just like, you know, I'm just going to talk. Like, I don't care. I'm just going to talk. Um, yeah, so I hope this cleared this up a bit because so many people have asked me about this. So I decided to make a video to nip this in the bud and clear the air. Okay? So... That's all for this video. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them in the description box below. If you haven't seen a video of me speaking Spanish, I'll leave that link 
in the description box, okay? So don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Hasta luego.